doing it from the house, uh, doing a message from the house again. Um, storm moving through, and uh, we had a meeting planned, but uh, had to uh, had to had to rearrange our schedule. It's something that God never has to do. He's never rearranged his schedule for anything. Um, he he uh, created it. He declared it. And that's exactly how it's always going. It's, that's, that's exactly how it's always going to happen. Um, last week I was looking at the outward man, the flesh. The different names and the char and the and the characteristics of it. <clears throat> this week, I want to look at the exact opposite. Um, I was hitting on like begets like. Um, that which is flesh is flesh, and that which is spirit is spirit. Um, flesh cannot be changed. Uh, spirit cannot be changed. Um, <clears throat> the flesh can be very, very, re can be very religious, uh, rooted in uh, ordinances and ceremonies and rites and all, all of that. But um, it it cannot be changed. It cannot be remodeled. It cannot be overhauled. But today I want to look at. Um, the different names and the characteristics of the spirit. Um, I guess go back. I, there's no sense to go back to John three again, but Christ was brought that to Nicodemus, and that's and that was his exact words: that which is flesh is flesh, and that which is spirit is spirit. And um, two seeds. And if we, you can go to Second Peter, <clears throat> Second Peter, and that, and it talks of that. Or you can go to uh, Galatians. Now to Abraham, Abraham and his seed were the promises made, and he saith not to seeds, as of many, but as of one. And to thy seed, which is what? Which is Christ. <clears throat> that is that incorruptible seed, which is Christ. Sing singular. <clears throat> we'll go over here to Peter once again. It's 1 Peter 1.23 Being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible seed, by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. And that's not this written word. That's not the written word that liveth and abideth forever. <clears throat> Is that Christ in you? Spirit of God. So, <clears throat> along those lines, I want to look at, first off, it's that spirit, that inward man, that new man, and we'll, and I'll get into end of those different names. It's divine in its origin. And its origin is Christ. Um, John six sixty three tells us that. <clears throat> it is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit, and they, and they are life. We look at that, the, the, the flesh profiteth nothing. Go to 2 Corinthians. There's a verse that I know you all know quite well. Second Corinthians 4 and 16 and we'll probably come back to this chapter and verse 
For all things are for your sakes, that the abundant grace might through thanksgiving of many redound to the glory of God, for which, for which cause we faint not. But though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed, day by day. And that outward man perishing, and then that, and it says back there that, that, how did he say that in John there? I was just there. About profiteth nothing. I think that what that's pointing to is idol worship. Um, and like I said, it says the flesh profiteth nothing. <clears throat> all the rites and the ceremonies and the and the and all the music in the world and all the and all of that uh, the millions and millions of times that that song Amazing Grace has been sung. But yet, if that spirit, that indwelling spirit, that inward man, <coughs> is not there, because within this, this is a housing, it's a vessel, it's dust, <coughs> and there's a duality in a child of God. There's, there are two men to burst, two men in a child of God, that which is flesh is flesh, and that which is spirit is spirit. And to me, this is a, not that all the doctrines are not foundational, and Christ is the true foundation, but this doctrine is a foundational doctrine. And once you are shown the corruptible seed that comes from Adam and the incorruptible seed, Christ, that, that, that spirit, that, that indwells a little child of God. <clears throat> There's two. You and I mentioned it last week. In that fact, that Pharisee up front telling God about all all that he had done for him and how that he had helped him and look at all these other ones and then the little publican in the back saying, be merciful to me, a sinner. Both of those right there reside in a little child of God. They're there, <clears throat> and it is true. And but the but the origin of of uh, 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 of that divine nature, that man, <clears throat> is this right here. <clears throat> in in the quickening, <clears throat> the words that I speak, it is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profiteth nothing. And then that new man, that inward man, is perfect. 1 John 3, 9, and this is the verse that everyone goes to for this. It's the perfect verse to go to. <clears throat> Whosoever abideth in him sinneth not. Who whosoever sinneth hath not seen him, neither known him. <clears throat> Little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. And that is right. That righteousness that is within uh, that is within you, and it can only come. <clears throat> it can only come from that from that spirit of God that 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 righteousness which is Christ's righteousness and he that committed sin is of the devil for the devil sinneth from the beginning for this purpose the son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil and in here is where it talks about that <clears throat> that 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 perfect nature that perfect Man, and I'm saying nature, but there's two men. There are, the, <laughs> there are two. Whosoever is born of God doth not commit sin. For his sin remaineth in him, and he cannot sin, because he is born of God. That which is flesh, it will always be flesh. And that which is spirit, it will always be 
spirit. <clears throat> There's a groaning, and I'm not going to get into the conflict that arises. <clears throat> That arises, but Romans eight twenty six, it speaks of uh, 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 of that groaning, that conflict, that 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 warfare <clears throat> that goes on within a child of God. I don't want to get into that that that, that had today, but then you go on over to First John five eight, and it says <clears throat> five eighteen. I'm sorry, we know. We know. How do we know? <clears throat> How do you know that? For your eyes have been opened. <clears throat> and if that one dwells within you, that means you have been shown. What do you have that you were not given? Absolutely nothing. <clears throat> <clears throat> we know. That whosoever is born of God sinneth not. But he that is begotten of God keepeth himself, and that wicked one touches him not. <clears throat> Satan uh, could not find nothing. He, he searched that man named Jesus. He searched him, but he could find nothing within him whatsoever. <clears throat> He was made of a woman, made under the law. And that purpose is set out in Matthew 1, 21. There's, there's more of that purpose than just this. But And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. <clears throat> and then it says, for he shall <clears throat> save his people from their sins. And it was also in Zechariah speaking of that sword. Trying to break a new Bible in. Dad, Dad used to talk about this, and I didn't quite understand them, but now I do. Colossians one twenty eight. <clears throat> whom we preach, to whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of his of this mystery among the Gentiles, <clears throat> which is Christ in you, the hope of glory, whom we preach, warning every man in teaching, every man in all wisdom, that, that we may present every man perfect in Christ. <clears throat> and he, he will not never Ever. Once that is there and that is perfect, it cannot be made imperfect. It says in 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy 2, <clears throat> it is a faithful saying, For if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we, if we deny, and we have denied, every single one of us, Lord, I believe, help thou my unbelief. 
It is there. It resides in us. Paul prayed three times. And finally, the answer was, My grace is sufficient. <clears throat> that right there, that is a must needs be that happens within a child of God. It it is there. It is it is for a purpose, and that purpose will be, and it and it will be, it will be ultimately to His grace and to His and to His glory. But it says here, if we deny Him. He will also deny us, but if we, we believe, but if we believe not, he abideth faithful because he can not deny himself. Christ in you, the hope of glory. He will not, he cannot deny himself. One with him. That seed was in him back in Psalms 139 over in Proverbs 8. And it states that, Proverbs 8. <clears throat> seed was with him. He shall see his seed. That seed was with was with Christ in his walk, and and he, and it was in with him in in the passion. It was with him in the burial, and then in the in that resurrection, brought brought forth there with him, and that is that Christ in you, that new man. That hope of glory, because he can not deny himself, and that's exactly what it says. And you go to Titus, and Titus said that we have been shown, and we worship a God that can not lie, for He changes not. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. <clears throat> he cannot, nor will He ever. Deny himself. <clears throat> First John one nine. <clears throat> if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. <clears throat> if we say that we have not sin, sinned, we make him a liar. And his word is not in us. <clears throat> but then what's the exact what is the next thing that is wrote here? After that right there, what is the next thing? My little children. So who's he talking to? He's talking to those little elect. Those little children. That's who he's speaking to. He's not speaking to the whole world. <clears throat> For those that were given him. Those where that inner man dwells. Where, the, where, where that birth. Like the shepherd that knows his sheep. By name, he knows them thoroughly, and and in this case, he's known them, but because that because that vital union, that vital that vital seed, the eternality of election chosen in Christ Jesus from before the foundation of, <laughs> of the world, it says, "My little children, these things write unto you, that you sin not." And, and if any man sin, why, we, we, there, the, it, it dwells within us. In that, in that duality, that which is flesh is flesh, and that which is spirit is spirit, but there is an inner man within a child of God. And if any man sin, we have an advocate. Go over and read. And <coughs> re, 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 read in Hebrews. The, we, we have a high priest. That first way was not perfect, else it would have stood. But yet now there is a better way. We have an advocate. We have an intercessor. And that's what it, and that's what he's saying. He looks not within that little house over 
that the, that was in, in Egypt, he, he looks at the blood upon the doorpost. That's what the death angel looked at. He did not look within. He, he seen the blood. And we have that advocate, a little child of God. And it says, a little children, if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. And he, he is the propitiation for our sins. And not ours only, <clears throat> but also for the whole world. And that whole, that whole world encompasses the little children. We all have worlds of our own. I have a world where I work. I, I have a natural family. That's my world. <clears throat> and there's many little worlds within, within this whole world. But this world right here is talking about those little children, like I said before, those given, given Christ from before the foundation of the world. Now, I want to look at... Now, just to <clears throat> I've, I've pretty much covered the spirit. <clears throat> it's called the new man. And that new man right there the other side is that old man. That's what we looked at last week. <clears throat> but this new man. Some people say new nature. <clears throat> uh, I, but I, I, I feel better with looking at it. <clears throat> because there is a birth. As a, 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 as a new man. You go to <clears throat> Romans 7. I think that's where I'll start. <clears throat> Romans 7 points out that conflict. Like I said, I'm not going to go there and look at Romans 7 today. But <clears throat> Paul wrote this and he said, For I delight in the law of God. There was no delight. There was no delight in that in Moses' law. There was no delight in that. There's none whatsoever. There was no there was no delight in that law whatsoever and even looking on and on and on and before Moses' law. There was no delight in that whatsoever because there is no mercy in that. There's a speed limit on this road out here and if you go over that speed limit, you have broke the law. Plain and simple. There's no mercy there whatsoever. But under this, uh, uh, under this covenant of, uh, of grace... That's, that's where we look to, that publican. Be merciful. Be merciful to me, a sinner. So here, Paul, Paul is saying, I delight. He has joy. He has joy in the fact that he has been shown this, this, this law, and he delights in that law, and he says it that way. For I delight in the law of God, but after which man? Do, does he say that that outward man? Absolutely not. That does what? That perishes day that 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 well that perish that, that, that perishes. And I think, I mean, this this flesh, yes, it perishes. I, there's no doubt, there's no doubt about that. We all know that. 
but 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 yet I think in that perishing is is talking about in 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 idol worship and in and in all of the rites and the ordinances and the ceremonies that will not change this flesh. It will not ever make it better for that which is flesh. It will always be flesh. But Paul says here, I delight in the law of God, but he points to that inward man. That's what he's pointing to. <clears throat> that birth from above. <clears throat> <clears throat> that from that incorruptible seed. <clears throat> <clears throat> I've looked at this verse already, but there's something in there I want to look at. 2 Corinthians 4. <clears throat> Tickle my <clears throat> There's a verse here. For God, uh, verse 6, For God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness. <clears throat> and you know, it don't say nothing about free will there, does it? It says, for God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, has shined in our hearts. And that's what it says in John John, John 3 about the Spirit. It moves <clears throat> where, 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 where it wants, and there's no man has ever hedged it in. It moves where, where it wants, when it wants, for it searches the deepest things of God. To shine out of darkness and shine into our hearts. And that's that delight of the law and in the inward man that Paul was talking about. To give light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure. And who's that we? That's that same little children over there that that he was speaking to. But we, and you go to the first chapter of Ephesians, and you look at the eyes and the us's and, and the we's, and, that, and, and, and that's who this we is. But we have this treasure. What treasure? He just told you what, what, what that treasure was. This light that shined into our hearts in earthen vessels. And, and what is that vessel? You're looking at this vessel right here that you look in, in the mirror that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. <clears throat> Ephesians 2. <clears throat> For by grace are ye saved through faith and that not of yourselves is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Ties right back to that verse right there. <clears throat> that's, that's what it ties to. For we are His workmanship. <clears throat> Created in Christ Jesus unto good works. And this flesh, this flesh has never, ever did good works. <clears throat> not that old man, not that carnal man, for it says the carnal man is the enemy. It is, is, is not at enemy, is enemy of God. <clears throat> Which God hath before ordained that we should walk in. Little children ordained to those, to that walk. <clears throat> I'm gonna close now, that's enough, but I wanna <clears throat> I mentioned the first chapter of Ephesians and Uh, and I've done this several times, but I just think it's beautiful for every time you do it. According as He, the Father, hath chosen in us, in Him, Jesus, 
the Christ, when chosen in Christ Jesus, before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. <clears throat> Having predestinated us, and you will not find one free will statement anywhere in the scripture, as far as I'm concerned. But if you read this right here, you will not find the works of uh, you will not find the works of man <clears throat> nowhere. According having predestinated us unto the adoption and I think sonship by Jesus Christ to himself according to the good pleasure of his will <clears throat> to the praise of the glory of his grace wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved in whom we have redemption looking to, to the blood Redemption has not been, in my opinion, has not been fulfilled and completed. The purchase price, the purchase price has been paid. But that resurrection day <clears throat> is when it will be completed. Through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, <clears throat> the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of of his grace the forgiveness of sins amazing grace oh how sweet the sound that saves a wretch like me and when you are shown that out, that that outward man when you are shown that carnal man, mind when you are shown that that there is no good thing in, 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 in that outward man, in that carnal man whatsoever, and then you read this, the forgiveness of sin, how according to the riches of His grace, only by His grace, and no other way. <clears throat> and that makes it so much sweeter it say it makes it so much more precious and it's something that you just want to grab on to and hold on to <clears throat> but yet we don't have the strength to even cling to 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 to, to the cross in no way or shape or form for our strength is is in him it is by him it is through him and ultimately all things will be to the honor and the praise and the glory <coughs> of an almighty god who rules and reigns on uh, on on high eternal how many i don't know how many times i've heard john say it as far as the east is from the west like begets like that which is flesh will always be flesh and that which is spirit will always be spirit <clears throat> thank you